Okay, let's look at this race, rate equation. Distance equals rate times time. And let's see how this relates to everything we've seen already. I can prove this equation two ways. One, I can go back to the basic definition of velocity. I know that velocity is distance divided by time. Velocity equals distance divided by time. Velocity, 20 miles per hour, 20 miles per hour. Distance, 20 miles, time, hour. So that is the definition of velocity. If I simply multiply both sides by t, I'm going to get velocity times time equals distance. This equation, this equation. Except in this case, you're just seeing that the v is called r. They're the exact same equation. Ah. That's one way. But let's look at it from our kinematics. <gasps> we used f equals ma already to prove the kinematics equation for distance. Distance for a constant acceleration is equal to 1 half a t squared plus v i t plus v in the, uh, initial. Oh, I'm sorry, plus distance initial. Let's look at this now. Realistically, we're going to start at a point of zero. Oh, yes. In a horizontal motion, this D, uh, this A has to do with acceleration. In horizontal motion, normally when we're keeping a constant velocity, we have no acceleration. So that's going to go to zero. That takes this whole section to zero. Wow. Therefore, this equation simplifies down to D equals zero plus V initial T plus zero. <gasps> distance equals V initial T. Ah. We have the same equation. All from F equals MA. Ah.